What's going on everybody, Shad here, and today we're gonna to make a superior smash burger, and this guy is how we're gonna get that done. So through trial and error, we've got our technique down. We have those hamburger balls there. We depress the center to make sure the meat spreads out from the sides. Now utensil-wise, you just don't need a lot. So here we have the spatula, and of course the burger press we're gonna test out today. So this is something new that we're trying out because we want to get a better smash burger that's nice and even. As you can see, this is stainless steel. So not only going to be easy to clean, but that it's also going to last us quite a while. So we have our flat top, nice hot, piping hot with the oil. Get those burgers on there. We're going to demo this just with the two burgers at a time. So you can see, this is how we used to do it. Not very good. As you can see, it sticks to the back of the spatula. Now comes the stainless steel burger press. And I got to say, the weight behind this makes this so easy. Very clearly did not stick. Nice flat patty, so we can get the crispy edges. Second time over here. Great thing is you don't have to get overcomplicated with the seasoning because these crisp up nice and easy, and that's what you want. That's where the flavor is. So as you can see, they do shrink up a little bit. That's why you wanna get that flatness so they don't become that ball again and cook unevenly. So here we're gonna do round two, and I am actually gonna just let the burger press do the work here. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the weight of this thing and how well it flattens those burgers out. They are definitely getting some crispy edges, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Another thing we need to consider is how easy this is to clean. Because it's stainless steel, just soap and water and I'm good to go. I'm not worried about this rusting. I'm not worried about this tarnishing. This is going to last me quite a long time. And you can see it just melts the grease right off. Last, this wouldn't be a true demo test video if we didn't test the stainless steel. So let's get a magnet, let's get it on here, and let's see if it sticks. Nope, we don't have any magnetation there. I'll even prove it to you. We'll go over top of it. This is definitely my new favorite grilling utensil, and while I make it comments in my reviews, I would highly recommend. 